Many different types of cyber attacks exist. This and the next lesson will overview most of these attacks. Then you're going to get tactful strategies to combat the most common cyber attacks. Denial of Service Duess A denial of service or duess attack is when a hacker freezes a computer on a network by flooding it with massive data or requests to overload it. This makes it impossible for the computer to respond to valid requests. A distributed denial of service or DDoS attack is a type of DoS attack when many computers or devices are flooded simultaneously. An example of a DDoS attack is the GitHub attack in 2018. GitHub, a website for software developers, was hit with 1.35 terabits per second of traffic. It was the most powerful DDoS attack at the time and lasted 20 minutes. This attack originated from over a thousand different autonomous systems, ASINs, across tens of thousands of unique endpoints, flooding the website at the same time. Phishing Phishing is when a hacker impersonates a trusted person or source to get another person to perform an action that risks security. Like a criminal poses as a creditable online brand and sends an email asking past customers to enter their credit card information in exchange for a prize. The customer will then enter their information on a lookalike website, not realizing they sent their bank info to a criminal. Tampering Tampering is when hackers exploit or divert an organization's everyday activities. For example, you're on a website buying some new shoes. You just finished inserting your information to complete your order. However, behind the scenes, hackers tampered with the website's paying system to send your money to them instead of the shoe sellers. The hackers just stole your money and the website never gets paid for your shoes. Interception Interception is when hackers steal information that's being exchanged between computers. The hacker disguises themselves as a trusted channel between the sender and recipient. One of the most common of these hacks is man-in-the-middle attacks. It's when the sender sends information to the recipient, but is actually sending information to the hacker. The hacker then sends the information to the original recipient or destination. The exact process works in reverse. The recipient sends a response to the hacker, thinking that they're sending it to the sender, who then sends it to the actual sender. This attack is hard to catch because the hacker usually spoofs the IP or DNS records to make the information transfer look legitimate. Data Theft Everyday people and governments alike are vulnerable to data theft. Hackers steal personal information to sell it to others, commit identity theft, or be used in bigger blackmail or ransom schemes. Hackers steal from organizations and corporations to make business decisions that generate profit, sell information to competitors, leak information to the media to ruin the business's reputation and recruit employees. A 2018 study by Version revealed that 40% of corporate data breaches involve internal actors like employees and privilege misuse. An example is of this is Tesla. In 2021, Telsa sued a former employee, Martin Tripp, for taking confidential photographs and stealing trade secrets. Tesla argued that Tripp stole this information in retaliation for reassigning his job role. Tripp admitted to these wrongdoings and tried to recruit others to steal company data. Lesson Summary A denial of service or DoS attack is when a hacker freezes a computer on a network by flooding it with massive data or requests to overload it. A distributed denial of service or DDoS attack is a type of DoS attack when many computers or devices are flooded at the same time. Phishing is when a hacker impersonates a trusted person or source to get another person to perform an action that risks security. Tampering is when hackers exploit or divert an organization's everyday activities. Interception is when hackers steal information that's being exchanged between computers. Hackers steal personal information to sell it to others commit identity theft, or be used in bigger blackmail or ransom schemes.